Welcome to Petro Proficient. The term geomechanics has become a buzzword in the oil and gas industry in the last few years. In the previous video we gave an overall introduction of geomechanics. This video discusses the application of geomechanics in unconventional reservoirs. We hope you will like the content. Please let us know by commenting on YouTube. Unconventional reservoirs are typically ultra-tight source rock, trap, and seal containing organic rich matter that has reached thermal maturity without migration. Unconventional reservoirs have low permeability and porosity, therefore, difficult to produce. Examples in US are Barnett Shale, Woodford Shale, and Eagle Ford Shale. Although they are called shale in general, they are not truly shale but shaley limestone or shaley sandstone. Geoscientists have known for years that substantial amount of oil and natural gas is trapped in the shale formations. However, the technology to drill and produce oil and gas from these reservoirs did not exist earlier. With the advancement in horizontal drilling and hydraulic fracturing, this oil and natural gas can be efficiently produced and distributed to customers. Horizontal drilling is a unique method of drilling and necessary for shale formations. In these type of wells, vertical drilling continues until the kickoff point. At this point, well starts to deviate to become horizontal. After the target depth is reached, a steel pipe called casing is lowered in the well and cemented. The first step in the process of completing a well is the creation of perforations. In this process, a perforating gun with shaped explosive charges is lowered in the well. Holes are created through casing, cement and into the target rock. Hydraulic fracturing is a process of injecting a fluid which primarily contains water, sand, plus a few chemicals. The fluid is injected under controlled conditions of pressure and flow rate. If we have an unconventional reservoir, it needs to be hydraulically fractured. We need to determine in which direction the fractures will propagate. This is a function of the stress fields of the rock, and is determined through geomechanical studies. As a reminder of our discussion from earlier video of geomechanics, rocks underground are subjected to multiple stresses. They usually differ in direction and magnitude as they originate from different sources. For instance, vertical stress, SV at a particular depth, is essentially due to the weight of the overlying rock.
Tectonic regimes are defined in terms of the relationship between vertical, minimum, and maximum stress. Geomechanics helps in determining the magnitude and orientation of the stress. What are the elastic properties of a rock? Common elastic properties of the rock are Young's modulus, bulk modulus, shear modulus, and Poisson's ratio. Knowledge of the properties of the rock can help in determining the pressure required to carry out the hydraulic fracturing process, and the properties of fluid and sand for keeping those newly created fractures open. Furthermore, it reduces drilling-related risks caused by wellbore instability. Thank you for watching the video. We are committed to bring forth more videos to enrich your knowledge. Please support us by subscribing to the channel and benefit from the videos. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified about a new video. Thank you.